All right, guys, we are literally bundled up here. I got my silly hat on. We got Chris here. I don't know what he's dressed like, but today it's a little bit, probably gonna be a little bit controversial to some people, but today starts the purple paint. And for those of you who don't know, purple paint started, what was it, February 1st? I believe. It was like February 1st, purple paint law. You know, whoa, almost fell. Um, so today, we got a bunch of purple paint. We're gonna paint our borders every so feet, take you through the process. Some people will dislike this video and that's fine. But when you have, whoa. But when you have something that, that's yours, you need to protect it. It's different if somebody asks for permission, but people don't do that these days. So, you know, not, I'm not saying purple paint's gonna protect everything, but it kind of throws out that gray area to where if somebody's trespassing on your property, this is no excuses. You're caught in here, you will, you will be arrested. So, so far we're about quarter to a half, well, I'd say quarter of the property into it. What trees work best so far with the purple paint? We like the silver maple, the maple, maples. That smooth surface really, blends man, in that there. stuff just blasts at you. Yep. You can really see it nice. It stands in there nice and we're still on two, we're on the first two cans. We have yeah, 10 well, cans. So maples have worked best so far. Yeah, and we've, we've already gone, what, a quarter of the property? I'd maybe. say a quarter of it. We're just working our way around the perimeter in between each posted sign, and we'll show you real quick. That's what it looks like on there. Makes it stand up. Stands right out. And uh, we're going to keep going. I'll get one out of How you doing? So what are you thinking so far? Shows up pretty good. What, kind, what kind are we using? So you can see. Got Krylon. Krylon specialty no hunting purple marking for boundaries. Dries in 10 minutes. Dries in 10 minutes. And it does go a long way. It does. I mean, we we have 108 acres here. Actually, I'm sorry. We have 98 acres. Across the street, we have another like six acres. But so far, we're literally on the first two cans and we're marking what? Every 20 feet? Something like 30 that. feet or so in between signs. And we're on the first two cans. So. Mm -hmm. Each can was three nine three dollars and ninety five cents. So it's cheaper than signs, and it just makes it legit according to the law. And now we're about a third of the way around. Yeah, now property. we're about a third of the way around, and we're gonna continue throughout the day. All right. Well. We're definitely getting our work out here. Shemp's got paint on his, uh, purple his fingertips there. He busted a can by accident. But we're at, I'd say over three quarters of the property line done. We just have to go across the front here. We used five cans, four or five, four or five cans that for was, uh, basically a hundred acres. It's working out good guys. The paint so far is good. We'll recheck it, you know, once or twice a year see how it's holding up but the canned purple paint so far to me is has been great it shows up on the trees very well it dries fast soaks in it's bright and it's cheap so uh we'll continue to move along <laughs> 